top 10 fragrances to wear or gift for the holiday season, specifically Thanksgiving. All 10 of these fragrances either convey a sense of class, elegance, sophistication. Of course, if you're dressed up and you're meeting up with family and it's a Thanksgiving holidays, or you just wanna be reminded of some of the other fun aspects of that time of the year, maybe the sweets, the desserts, the drinks, the spirits. All 10 of these are amazing. And of course, there are a lot of Cyber Monday, Black Friday deals. I'm gonna let you know what these fragrances are in just a little while, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these 10 fragrances to wear or gift for the Thanksgiving season, I'm gonna let you know what I think of them, why I enjoy so many of them so much. Before I start the video, I do wanna mention that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, and of course, if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So a lot of these fragrances, I think all of them can be found at Lucky Scent. LuckyScent.com is amazing. I've been using them since 2012. They're one of the best places to use if you're looking for niche perfumes. And let me tell you something, all 10 of these are really amazing. With Lucky Scent, you can get a sample. You don't have to necessarily buy the fragrance full bottle or anything like that. So I'm gonna drop all of the links down below. They are not affiliate links. I'm not making commission on any of them. I just wanna put you on to somebody who carries all of these fragrances. And I think all of these are really, really high quality. In the number 10 spot, Night of Love by Bodicea the Victorious. So this one has a lot of juniper. Oh, this one smells so classy, so elegant, and it has this formal appeal about it. So if you're looking for something that's gonna make you smell amazing, if you're dressed to impress, and you want something to convey a sense of formality, Night of Love is such an amazing fragrance by Bodicea the Victorious. Also has a touch of cashmere on in here, so it's silky, it's smooth, you have that juniper berry spice in the opening, it's really, really good. Now if you're looking for a clean, airy, alang alang fragrance, this one also does very, very well. By The Harmonist, it's called Yin Transformation. And this fragrance, let me tell you, it's very light, it's clean, it is long lasting, but it's not overly gregarious in terms of the olfactor profile that it carries across. This one is a bit more on the subdued side of things, but you're still gonna be able to smell it on your skin eight hours later. And of course, this one with the name like Yin Transformation, it is a very peaceful, serene type of a perfume. And I love that the color of the bottle kind of conveys what you can expect as far as the smell is concerned. So very well done. Now this one, again, back to being elegant. So many people have told me to gatekeep this fragrance and this one is by Clive Christian, it's called Town and Country. So this is very fresh, citrusy, a lot of ambergris, there's sandalwood. This is a very elegant fragrance and I personally love it. I've been wearing this one for such a long time and I've already put a significant dent in my bottle. Yes, it's not a very big bottle, but I personally love this one, 50 mil. I know I'm gonna run through this very quickly. I have taken it on so many trips already. Now this next one is brand new by Liquide Imaginaire. It's called Lunatique. Now this one is also a green, spicy, incense -y fragrance. So if you wanna get a bit darker right around this time of the year, you don't want something very light and airy, you want something very dark and expressive, Lunatique by Liquide Imaginaire is the way to go. And the incense that is in here, so it is a touch smoky, not overly so. Let me just remind myself. Yeah, it's so creamy. There's a spicy characteristic about it. It's a bit ambery. It has a bit of a resinous appeal in the dry down as well. This one is so good. There's also liquid gold, which I think would be appropriate right around this time of the year, but Lunatique is amazing. Now, of course, this one I would totally recommend for the ladies. This is such a great floral bouquet. It is so gentle, so feminine, so elegant, and even the color of the liquid in the bottle. This one is by BDK Parfum, and it's called 312 Saint Honoré. This is such a beautiful, light, airy, floral, sensual type of a perfume. It has this feminine personality, like I said, and this one is really, really good. Now, of course, I also love Rouge Smoking with that cherry, sort of an almond vibe. I think that's perfect for Thanksgiving. But of course, this is a newer release, and so I'm very excited to cover that one. Of course, by the House of Oud, we have Dear Karma. 
a lot of saffron in this one. So if you're a fan of the note of saffron, if you want something a bit on the darker, spicier side of things, Dear Karma is a great one. Of course, I've been enjoying White Pearl and Guilty Crush and the brand has so many wonderful fragrances, but this one is very suitable for this time of the year. So I really love the timing of its release and the bottle presentation is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, we also have, and of course, thinking of Thanksgiving, you're thinking about the desserts, you're thinking about you know the treats that you're gonna eat right after that big meal where you're gonna get the tryptophan high and you're gonna be knocked out. Well, this one by Atelier Desor is called Blue Madeline. And of course, this brand, oh, I mean, one of the darkest ones that I own from this brand, and I purchased this one many, many years ago, it's called Bois Sicar. So that one is very dark and smoky. This one is very agreeable, very sweet. It has this gourmand nature about it. It really just smells like a Madeline cookie. So this one is so delicious, that creamy vanilla touch in the dry down, it is so good. In the number three spot, now this is what you're gonna have after dessert, because <laughs> this is coffee and rum. This one is La Rhapsody Noir by Dusita. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Not only is this one very sophisticated smelling, but the richness in this one, my goodness. So this is probably gonna be my scent of the day on Thanksgiving day. It, first of all, it smells unique. It doesn't smell like anything else out there. A lot of these smell unique, but this one, that combination of the coffee and the rum, but it's also so elegant and professional. I really do enjoy that one. In the number two spot, again, back to the sweets. And I don't know why, but you know, my, my nose is always geared towards uh, sweet fragrances, especially right around this time of the year, by Atelier Materi, and this one is fantastic. Cacao Porcelana, beautiful fragrance. It's a little on the powdery side of things, but if you like cacao slash chocolate, if you like your gourmands, if you haven't tried Cacao Porcelana by Atelier Materi, it is a must try. And if you love gourmands, chances are you're gonna end up purchasing it. However, in the number one spot, and this fragrance, if I'm not mistaken, is composed by Hamid Merati Kashani, who also did a ton, basically every fragrance for Fabrica della Musa. He also did Leighton by Parfum de Marly, a lot of Parfum de Marly fragrances. This one has sandalwood and vanilla. Those are the predominant notes in this fragrance, and it is so darn good. Right around this time of the year, it is Utter Perfection by Goldfield and Banks. It's called Silky Woods. Yes, you can opt for the Elixir version as well. It's a bit darker, it's a bit more expressive. However, if you have a big family at Thanksgiving and you wanna wear something that is a bit more subdued, not as loud, the original Silky Woods is very, very, very good. And if you're not doing anything on Thanksgiving, that's fine too. You know, sometimes you can be in the comfort of your own home. You can be at peace with oneself. And of course, fragrances always lift spirits and I've always used as uh, used them as a pick me up. And so thank you so much for watching 10 fragrances to wear or gift for the Thanksgiving season. And I know a lot of people do their holiday shopping in October and November to try to circumvent and avoid the madness and the chaos of, uh, of December, so. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, check out Lucky Scent. All of the links are gonna be down below, not affiliate links. But I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you took anything of value from today's episode, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting the channel by clicking subscribe, hitting the bell, and giving this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. So thanks again for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.